the microphone is working. Checking on the microphone. Okay. Oh. Hi guys! You've given me a great response in that you have loved the video on how to darken a read. So I've decided to take it to the next level and to help you out with how to create a dark read in the forming process so that it already starts out dark. One of the first key ways that I like to make sure that the read is going to be dark is by making sure that I create a round tube. Now, the way I like to create a round tube is with a set of Rieger pliers and a Rieger mandrel. The Rieger pliers have an opening on them that allows for a perfect fit on the Rieger mandrel so that after I put the third wire on and the second wire on, I can squinch the tube so that it fits directly around that circle. Now, it's easy sometimes to maybe go just a little bit too far, and you can tell if you've gone too far in um, rounding out the tube by um, the reed will all of a sudden become too resistant, is that you'll end up with less projection. So um, keep in mind, rounder tube, darker sound, wider tube, not as round, is going to mean that it's going to be a bit brighter. The second key tip that I have for helping you darken your reads in forming that I like to use is creating a read with a short tube and a long blade. Now most pre-manufactured reads are going to come with an equal amount. So they're going to have the equal amount of the blade and an equal amount of the tube. But I find when I make my own reads that if I keep the tube short and the blade long, I have a darker sound. Then if I want to have a brighter sound, I can adjust that a little bit so that I have a longer tube and a shorter blade. way that I like to darken up the reads in forming process before it even becomes a finished read is in scoring. As I score the read, I score in two ways. I score first by doing a cross hatch where I slice in diagonal lines, each going down um, one way on the read and then going up in the opposite direction so that it creates a series of X's throughout on the read. Um, this allows for oftentimes the uh, crack, if there's going to be a crack, to end up displacing, which is a little bit of magic. Um, so that's the first set of scoring that I do, and it does not go the whole way through. It is just a basic roughing up the outer edge of the cane, which will darken up the sound. The second portion of scoring that I do actually does cut through, and I do straight lines. By doing both forms of these, as I said, you can oftentimes avoid cracking into the blade. So that is one of the reasons I love it. But the other is by roughing up that tube, you do darken up the sound. Okay, guys, these are three easy forming tricks to help you create dark reads from the very get-go. I hope this helps. If it does, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, especially if you'd like to see more videos like this so I know what to film. And if you uh, want to make sure that you never miss a video, be sure to subscribe. If you have a free moment, I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave me a comment down below on key tips and tricks that you might use to uh, darken up your reads. If it's cane, um, the type of cane that you're using, or if you have any key tips or tricks, I, I would love to try them out. And I know that other people are reading the comments and that oftentimes they would love to hear what you have to say too. Um, so we can create like an open forum of creating dark, warm, rich sounding reads. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Um, finding my heckle bassoon that it was a bit of a journey and people have asked to know more about that journey and also about the repair that the instrument required. So let's go ahead and dig in. I will see you guys next time and uh, yeah, I, where do you go with that? <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye!